Hey everybody, welcome to the Sam Livecast. This is Friday. It's the third and last day of Sandwich Week. Who? <laughs> who? We've made good sandwiches this week. And look it who we've got with us. Week. Wait, hang on. Look who we've got no, with you don't us care right about now. Me. I do care about you, but but she's she looks at herself. We're all here. Look baby. at the camera. All yeah. right. She'll be here more. You guys just wait and see. Right. I told hey, you that hey, she would. Hey. Slow down she's, there, Bert. She's like, I don't want to commit to anything. <laughs> we got it. We got a lot of shit to talk about tonight. All right, let's just dive right in. Um, I was going to start with, oh, uh, and <laughs> not the stuff. least of which is guess what happens. Let me see what's it, 24, 24, 24, 24. I got to just do this math. In my uh, what answer. are you having trouble hold with? Hold on, hold on. So it's 25, uh, four days from now. Guess what happens four days from now? Anybody know? Four days from now? Yes. We're, we're both going... Um, Monday? No. Well, from when people are watching this, it's Friday. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, guess, I don't. It's her birthday. Oh, it's, it's her birthday, it's and scary. it's a big mother of a birthday. You know, too. we could show the little invitation video. Oh, that might be fun. The first one? I don't know. Oh, Either one. No, the second one. Okay. Well, let's just continue. All right. If we decide we can show it, we can show it. Uh-huh. Anyway, we got a lot of stuff to talk. I'm just getting lost. I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about her. Honestly, I'm sitting here thinking about her birthday and questions that I have in my head you about like whether this. I've done. You started the show by saying we have so much to talk about, and then you immediately <laughs> went into like a complete distraction. I can't help it. I have, I have live cast ADD. I you guess do. I really do. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier, Max and I. Uh-huh. Well, and you were about to say you had doubts. No, it wasn't doubts. I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right things. There's one thing in my head that I haven't done for your birthday yet that I still have to do. Okay, so sure we have lots done. of things to get into. Let's get okay, into the first one. Okay, can we start with one. this? Can yes. we start with this? Look, yes. number one. So if you've been following the live cast, uh, you know that we are um, a fan of what's called the man tree, and it's mm-hmm. the modern man's pantry. And we get it sent to us. And we open it up and we discover what's in it. Mm-hmm. And it's something that you can go to mantry.com. Or is it the mantry? I think it's the mantry.com. I think it's both. Right. I don't know if it's both. <laughs> okay, so you're no, no, it's down. mantry.com. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and so here it is, right? So check this out. So you get this. You can order one. You can order. They come monthly. And um, it comes in this badass. That's a pretty one. It's more box. mocha than the last yeah, one. They, oh, shit. Look at this. I didn't anticipate having trouble opening up the uh, what a surprise the man tree. <laughs> oh gee, and you were worried about the tape on the box. No, Max oh, and I yeah. had a fight because I wanted to open the tape. <laughs> I wanted to spring this from its box my... because the tape is extremely important. For you. <laughs> it's just you know what? It's my way of doing things. The box well, doesn't read enough, so it's you? really important to have the tape. Okay, so here's what it is: the man tree comes like this in its own little crate. Uh-huh. In it is the manual. Get it? Manual. Yep. And it tells you where the products are. Oh, we're going to like this. It tells you where the products uh, come from that are c- contained within the box. So it's so, basically just got a little bio on all the products It's got a little bio on all, on all the things, come. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's what we do. When we get it, we open it up and we check it out. Here's exactly how it comes to you. This is just like the most genius gift. I really believe that. Yeah, it's so, so cool. The theme of this one is... Hecho and America. Hecho. The Spell H is that? silent. Is it silent? H E C H O. It just okay. means made in America. Made in America in Spanish. That's right? a cool uh, concept, yeah. It's a cool concept. So here's the first thing this is the uh, La Esquina Salsa Roja, charred savory salsa from New oh. York City. Oh. Yeah. So everybody loves a good salsa, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. They're Next wow. is the box. In there. And look at these are things that presumably wouldn't be easy for you to all find and put together because you'd have to run around the country finding these. Oh things. yeah, oh yeah. Oh, okay. I keep in my fridge a tube of tomato paste. Mm-hmm. It's the same stuff that's in the little jar, but when you need just a tablespoon or so to richen up a soup or a sauce or something, you just squeeze it. This isn't tomato paste. This is chipotle paste. No way. Yes. So is that going to be really spicy, do you think? I don't think it's going to be super spicy. It's probably going to have look some at this. kick. This comes from, uh, it's concentrated heat with a delicate smoky flavor. Wow. Just, and this comes from, 
Oh my god, that's amazing it's for like people a, that cannot get Chipotle. Yeah, and it's right. like a toothpaste pa- toothpaste right. tube, so I'm sure. So it lasts look forever. at a little Chipotle in a in a regular everyday barbecue sauce is an amazing thing. But to do that, you have to have the little jar of Chipotle peppers, which are deeply smoked jalapenos. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just right here at your fingertip. Can you just put it right in front of the salsa? I can put it right in front of the salsa. Thank you. I'm not really stand up. Stand up. There you go. There you go. Okay, nice. continuing. It's a toothpaste thing. That's crazy. Next. Yeah, I know. Uh, wasabi comes like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. The tomato paste. So this is a Rancho Gordo beans. We just heard about these, Kelly, oh. in uh, Napa. Right. The Dad. beans that we ordered at... Oh. Um, yeah. Hog Island, uh, yeah. Hog Island Oyster Company were um, cool, Rancho right? Gordo beans. Ah, I love having something. That is a complete coincidence. It's a complete coincidence. Okay. Here's another jar-like thing. Can you imagine giving your boss a present or somebody having a birthday and you order them a month and this is the stuff that comes. This is cool. Especially if you're even a little bit of a foodie kind of person. Yeah. And girls, if you are trying to find something cool for your boyfriend... And they're into food. I'm not. I'm telling you, you will not find a better gift than this. Manchu.com. Yeah. Okay. Get Send. get over the wallets and the t-shirts, ladies. Come oh. on. Get something better than that. Who carries a wallet? You want to see how I carry my money? Dad I carry loves wallet. t-shirts. Hey, don't make fun of wallets. I just got a beautiful new one. No, check this out. Here's how I carry my money. I know. Let's see it. I carry. I carry <laughs> it loose. And that's how I carry it in my purse. Is that a bad thing? No. But you have it in a purse. This is how, just wait. in my. How, how do you carry that in your purse like that? That just means it's going like, to no, no, explode no. everywhere. No, no, no. I've got it in my little purse. I wish okay. that I, I wish it was in the house right now because people would laugh if I opened it right now because my <laughs> yes, stuff is Yes, but you have to understand. Exactly you have to understand. Uh, she carries a big purse. Yeah. And in it are two smaller purses. <laughs> I have no idea I why. I have a tote bag and then I have a purse and then I have what I use as my purse. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It's okay, the, it's the most I get retarded system about it I've ever time. seen in my life. At my work, they say they tease me all the time that I have a purse within a purse within a purse. <laughs> okay, this is uh, a mole. This is a black mole, allowing you uh, this San Angel or San Angel black mole recreates Oaxaca's renowned mole negro, allowing you to capture the full depth of flavors of this rich and complex dish. I don't know what I would do with this, but there's some, some suggestions on here, right? Is it a, it's a dip, is it not? No, no, no. It's a sauce. You, that you mole would, sauce. Can you push, push that one it. a little more in? There you go. You, you would do something with that. Cool. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I don't understand actually what a mole sauce is. Uh, uh, mole I it was mole a is, is a sauce. It's a deep, dark sauce that has uh, chocolate notes in it, and sometimes very chocolatey, oh. and it's weird. It's definitely an acquired taste. I'm not a huge mole fan, but I'm definitely anxious to try that one out. Okay, mm-hmm. so here we go. This is a Mexican hot chocolate. By the way, if you haven't had Mexican hot chocolate, you need to because it blows away regular everyday chocolate. <laughs> really? Move that it, mole back. It really does. <laughs> Move oh, the, the mole. mole. Oh, there you the go. Mole, <laughs> mole. He keeps Wait, what's that line out. from? Um, Move the mole back. Mole, mole, mole. mole. It's from Austin Powers. Oh, Austin about the Powers, mole. the guy with the mole. <laughs> Wait, and here's, mole here's the is the generic thing. name for a number of sauces used in Mexican cuisine. Oh, thank you, Max. Mm-hmm. Oh. Check this out. Oh, yes. Oh, chorizo. Aurelia's Spanish style chorizo. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. Mm-hmm. We are making something with that. We are making something amazing with that. Do you it. remember okay. that? We made. Um, in a previous mantry, we got just some beautiful sausage in it, right? Yeah. And we used that in uh, the broken lasagna pasta. Oh, that was so Go good. Go to the samlivecast.com and search broken lasagna yes. pasta. Okay, so this is Spanish style a trezo, not to be confused with um, Mexican trezo. Can you put it? Uh, you're going to need it more. Oy vey. Oh, that works. <laughs> what, can you flip? show us the flip side real quick? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Watch what I can do. Nice work. There you go. Okay. So, so Spanish style chorizo mm-hmm. is different from Mexican chorizo. Mexican chorizo is, is uncooked in a sausage. And we did the, um, we did that uh, cheese, melty cheese chorizo dip. What the hell was that called? 
melty cheese chorizo, chorizo dip. Oh, no, yeah. you're talking about the chorizo gravy, I think. No, 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 no. no. Oh, we also did chorizo gravy. Thing. Yeah, it's a whole other thing. I love chorizo. Um, I'm really familiar with the Mexican chorizo. I'm starting to really appreciate the uh, Spanish chorizo that could be used in a pasta sauce. You could stir this. You could you could saute some onions mm. and some peppers and uh, cut this up and put this in and then make a pasta sauce out of it. Put it on top of it. Be amazing in eggs, all kinds of stuff. Now, is that cooked chorizo? This is cooked. Yes, that's cooked. The so Mexican just... chorizo is uncooked. Spanish chorizo completely cooked. Oh, and you can see by spite, oh, you know, okay. you squeeze it and it feels firm. Firm, yeah, okay. Right. That's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. You guys are just absolute amateurs. But so you get the little manual inside, and it tells you a little history about the products. Sometimes there's little recipes in here. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. We love the Mantry. Go to themantry.com, check it out, and, uh, and uh, tell them that you like them because we like them. But don't take the tape off before your dad gets but don't take the. Yellow. Don't open the box. I wanted to open the box myself. Do you have any idea how much I wanted to open that box last night, and I didn't? Oh the my box God, has I been bet. here for three days. <laughs> okay, I wanted sorry. to open it myself. Sorry, okay, anyways. I apologize. All right, so Mantry, done. Uh, last, we, last day of sandwich week, I'm making an open face crab melty cheese sandwich today that's going to be so stupid good damn um let's have a really quick recap on monday we made the inside out grilled cheese do we have the pictures with chicken and bacon if you can you pull them up on your computer really oh quickly? my god you're really you're asking just me go to, to the same livecast.com yeah and um so yeah monday we made uh the inside Hold out on, grilled wait cheese, for it which was amazing it was so good and it included chicken and bacon and then on wednesday we made a Tuna Cristo. Tuna Cristo. If I recall, cr Cristo. You, you do. I say Cristo. I don't know why. You, okay, so look at here's the here's the um, here's the the inside out. And by inside out, I use Hawaiian sweet rolls. I cut them. I keep them ganged together. I cut them and then I flip them so that the bumpy outside is now on the inside. Mm -hmm. There's chicken in there. There's uh, some d grainy Dijon mustard, and there's bacon, and then there's potato chips, and then there's cheese. And that thing melts beautifully. And you know what? I think that grainy Dijon really brings it together. It Doesn't brings, it? It, it you ties need, all the flavors together. Right. You need so you need well. a little bit of that, I think, to do that. So yeah. here's the tuna Cristo. Traditional Monte Cristo is uh, ham, Swiss cheese inside of bread, and then you dip it in a little uh, beaten egg with a little bit of milk, kind of like a French toast batter. Mm -hmm. And then you grill it. But when you serve it, you serve it with either powdered sugar or syrup, which I find freaky. And I don't do that. But I have made this. This has tuna with red pepper in it and seasoned well. And then cheese and then grilled. And it's so melty, delicious, crispy on the outside. Good. So the tuna, or sorry, the Monte Cristo is meant to be a breakfast sandwich? No, it's not really a breakfast sandwich. It's just weird that they serve it with... Either powdered sugar or syrup. I don't get it because I could. I don't if, get it, and I don't like it. If it was meant to be breakfast, then I yeah. could understand the powdered sugar and the syrup. Yes, but if it's just supposed to be like lunch, no, then, it's not. It's like a lunch thing. Make it's sense. like a sweet lunch thing that I just don't really get. Weird. We've okay. never really understood sweets in this family. Yes, I know. So that's fine. That's I'm okay, and I'm completely okay with that. Okay, so uh, here's one thing I want to talk about just for a second. Mm -hmm. So I read this today, and I read it, and I went, really? They couldn't? Defense Secretary Leon Panetta officially lifts ban on women in combat. Hmm. And I went, women couldn't fight? And forgive me for being either naive or stupid or Canadian or whatever it is, but honestly... I guess I thought that if women wanted to fight in combat, they could. I'm so they glad could. you said that because I didn't get it either. And I thought, oh, my no. God, what have I been missing? And I feel like this is a red letter day. It's important. But well, how do you guys not understand that if they had been allowed to always fight on the front lines, they just would have been going berserker on all the guys in their units and trying to pull their pants down and hook up with all of them. So they're not fit for battle, obviously. Ob obviously, you're being sarcastic. It's totally sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But that's... But this is Reasoning. a big. This is a big day, yeah. and that's the. Or is it that they haven't been allowed to fight because they couldn't carry their weight? No, that too. It's also uh, like I think it's more that, right? Well, but okay, so that's why gays in the military weren't allowed to fight because they thought that it, because of. I mean, I guess yes. The answer to that would be different sex 
like units. Yes. Um, but one thing I saw today was that people were saying, okay, well, yes, this is awesome, but are they going to start relaxing the standards for like the military because of women? Because I mean, but here's the thing. Here's what I heard. They have to, they have to adhere to the same requirements to be able to fight. That's what I'm saying. As men. So if they can pass, if a woman can pass that, who cares? Uh, of course, it's stupid. That it's stupid. They shouldn't have been allowed to. And you know what's funny is they that, should have been allowed. To. You know what I saw that they should have always. Yes. So same with gays. But you said that um, you didn't realize that it was. Oh my god! Like I can't believe that they haven't always been allowed to. I follow the IDF on Facebook, the Israeli Defense Forces. Yes. And they um, put up a post after this ban was lifted. They put up a post that said. Women in the IDF have always been allowed on the front lines. They've always been allowed in combat positions. Right. Which it's, is insane. And same with gay people in Which the is British military, the Israeli military, all around the world. By the way, by we're the lagging. way. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna start you're gonna start making this too political. And I only meant to point out that one thing <laughs> that I honestly didn't know. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see. Uh have some emails, Facebook posts to read. Shereen Bergen posts. Am I crazy? I'm loving this new format. So stress-free. We start the show when we're ready. This is referring to the new way that we air the Sam Livecast. Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, it's just up. It's not held for 6 p.m. at a certain time. Uh, Rob Ashton writes, Please wash your hands after touching those damn dogs. I don't like dog hair cuisine. <laughs> well then, Rob, it's a good thing you're not here at my house. Right. It? It's a good thing I'm not cooking for you. If you have a problem with that, my friend, you shouldn't watch. I don't get people that piss and moan about the way that I touch my dogs when I cook when they're not in my kitchen. When I do a cooking class, I don't have my dogs there. If I had a restaurant, I wouldn't have my dogs there. <clears throat> Jesus. It's insane. It just, I mean, that's, I just find that insane. So many people over the years. Yeah. Uh, we were talking once about changing the live aspect of this and not airing it live. And somebody wrote, Mark LaPointe writes, what makes Letterman live is the live audience. Maybe a bunch of people on the couches. Well, we got one person. We have one people on the couch tonight. <laughs> Wait, don't say anything. There we go. <laughs> I just got super excited. I looked at one of your obscure, random Facebook pages and Steph Johnson's playing tomorrow night in Del Mar. Can we go? Yes, we can. Steph Johnson, who I tried to get to your birthday, and she's busy. And I even bugged her about it again today. Oh. She's too big time for us now. Yeah. Hey, uh, I put up a, I put up a little solicitation of questions on Facebook, and Irene Morton wants to know uh, yes. where we got the holla from the other night. Uh, holla came from um, Village, Village Mill? Bakery, Village Village Mill Bakery. Where's that? Uh, it's here over in the Highlands. Oh, Over nice. but the supermarkets do sell holla. Yeah, I don't holla. think it's as good as holla, as holla. good as a as good as a uh, as good as a bakery. Village Mill Bakery is awesome. Is there anything more beautiful than just like a big braided piece of fresh holla? Yeah, no. I mean it's gorgeous. It's, uh, all and golden, if you don't know, holla is an egg bread, egg bread of our Jewish people, and it's really makes amazing French toast. And I did the the um, the tuna Cristo on uh -huh. it. It was so good. And so we got really screwed with matzah, so they decided to compensate by giving us really like, good holla. No, matzah's good. It's <laughs> fine. Wait, I have one more uh, post to read. Yeah. This is from someone calling himself a gummy bear. I better not put his whole thing up there. There's some numbers after it. But gummy bear writes. <clears throat> gummy bear. Uh, this, he, he, he writes this after watching uh, the live cast on YouTube. He posted to a YouTube. Uh, okay, so this show. is a YouTube comment that you found. YouTube comment, mm -hmm. and Gummy Bear writes, "Hey, I remember this faggot. Wow, everyone in Cali sounds like a total stoner douche." What, dude, bro? Come on, what? please, dude, bro. <laughs> dude, <laughs> do it, Max. Bro, do it. Come on, bro. Dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. How can you sound dude, like that? Come on, bro. we are not are stoner <laughs> douches. <laughs> Hey, wow. I remember this faggot. Wow, everyone in Cali sounds like a total oh, stoner douche. I can't even Can you believe? bear to hear that word. It's yeah, so it's bad. bad. It's On a positive so note, let me just get away from Gummy Bear's comment. By the way, <laughs> how can you take a comment seriously 
from somebody whose <laughs> internet name is Gummy Bear. <laughs> Gummy Bear. And that went to which email? That was, he, was he posted, he, it was a comment <laughs> off Gummy of a YouTube Bear. thing. Oh my God. Gummy what Bear. Idiot. Wait, spelled not G U M M Y, but G U M M I Bear. Oh my. He needs an ass whooping from <laughs> me. <laughs> People like that, I just am, I wow. find them so funny. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, on a positive note, my bank, Wells Fargo, now offers <laughs> direct deposit from a picture of a check on your eye on your on your smartphone. Which I actually What? I complained for so long. How is this possible? That our bank didn't allow that, but well, now maybe I it's realize because they of do. you. How is this possible? You take a picture of a check front and back and you send it to them. Three days later, you can rip up the piece of paper check. What is this world coming to? Yeah, it's, it's so unbelievable. Cool. It seems like that is fairly open to fraud, though. They've got to have some serious. Uh, I suppose it is. They've got to have some uh, serious verification, you know? Because you could just, when you hand in a check, yeah. um, it's got all like the secret barcodes and all well, like, but they're gonna numbers see that. and everything. They're going to see all that. But think, think about everything that a, the back of a check has. You can just uh, have the front of the check. No, you have to send both. No, you don't. No, no. Front and back you have to send. Oh, you do? You okay. Do. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know At that. least that's what they told me at the bank today. Okay. Hey, one more, uh, one more email from uh, Mary Shirley. Just wanted to thank you for an amazing giveaway. I want a gift set from We Olive, sponsor of this show. But just now got around to trying the lemon olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Oh, yeah. I made a salad for dinner, drizzled the, drizzled the lemon olive oil and balsamic over it. Sorry, it's balsamic. <laughs> no, no. I can't say that. It's balsamic. We determined it was balsamic. Wait, I just spent four I'm days in Napa so with Mom and Ken now. and Debbie, and they gave me shit every day because they said I was saying it wrong. Now, the verdict of our show here balsamic. was that it was balsamic. It's balsamic? Yeah, no, that's what balsamic. we came to. Whatever I'm it is, so she goes on to write, oh my gosh, I wanted to lick the bowl. It was so tasty. Yeah. The lemon olive oil is mild but flavorful. The bowl... Balsamic, balsamic is sweet, not too acidic, quite smooth, delicious. I also grilled some tilapia and drizzled lemon olive oil on it. That's, you know, that's a really good tip. A simple piece of fish grilled or cooked very easily mm -hmm. with a flavored olive oil on it is two ingredients, tastes like 10, and is so delicious and healthy and simple. It takes, it takes a piece of fish from here. Up to here, and yeah, yeah not, absolutely not it does. Mention, anyway, she says I'll definitely, I'll definitely spread the word and be a future customer. We all of your sponsors are the best. I love the live cast. Keep up the great work, live cast team. Thank you, Mary. That's really cool of you. We all of dot com. Mm -hmm. You can go there. You can click on shop now. Whatever you buy by putting my name in the little promo box, Sam, you will get ten percent off your order. Or you can go into one of their stores. They've got ten around Southern California. Yep, they specialize in in only certified extra virgin olive oils. And I saw a thing on the news last night that talked about different food items that they're faking out. Like ground pepper having not just black pepper in it, but some fake thing. Yeah, like from China. <laughs> like, I don't know, don't say that. I don't, no, know, that's where, what, I don't I, know where the, the fake element I, somebody, to that comes somebody from. Somebody posted to Facebook um, a company in China, out of China that was canning like fake albacore with their with their regular tuna. Uh, and okay. we've, we all know the story about truffles, the fake truffles that come right. out of China. Anyway, uh, We All Have Only carries extra virgin olive oil, certified. Mm -hmm. Weallhave.com, check them out on Facebook, you'll love them. And just while we're on the topic, we're going to be having more We All Have giveaways in February for uh, Heart Awareness Month, I believe it is. So keep tuned in. I have more emails. I'm just not, I'm just not going to read them. Um, save them for... Uh, I should cook, though. Yeah. I have this open-faced crab sandwich. It's not going to take me very long that I want you to make. I mean, I want you to make all the sandwiches this week, but this crab one has a special place in my heart. I just really dig it. And it's easy. Open face crab sandwiches are often made with like a cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. And you can buy a shitty cheese sauce or you can make a good one, but it's more steps than I want to do. So I've got a very easy shortcut that I think you're going to like. It's going to be great. All right. Well, we're ready whenever you are. Ready? Yep. Uh, let's hit it. Go. All right. So here's what we're doing. We're doing crab. Uh, I only need a couple things out of here. Oh. 
So are we going to be using the crab from the can? Uh, yes. Well, so here's the thing. This is, um, it's, it's, I guess, considered pasteurized crab meat. Hold on. Um, it's refrigerated in the store. Uh, there's all kinds that you can buy. There's one from Costco that I like. I just couldn't get to a Costco today. It's made by a company called Phillips. That's very, uh, a huge crab seafood company from Baltimore. They're very big into crab, crab cakes, all that kind of stuff. That's like the crab uh, capital, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maryland? Yes, absolutely. But so here's what's cool about this. You could buy crab in the can that's like on the shelf by where the tuna is, right? Not refrigerated. I've never liked any of that. This stuff is um, refrigerated, pasteurized. Look at that. Look how beautiful that crab meat is. Wow, I feel like I can see claws in there. You can see like big chunks out of the claws, That's right? That's amazing. So yeah. there, it's not like this all the way through, but I'm telling you, this, oh my God, I love it so much. So, oops, we put that in here. Um, we need to add a, few th a couple things to this. I'm going to do that right now. Hey, people were asking about the dogs. I just wanted to let everybody know they're there doing great. <laughs> but, oh no, he sees himself. All right, so um, mayonnaise, right? It's kind of it's like you're making like a crab salad. So, and I'm using the Japanese mayonnaise QP. Like I'm a huge fan of it. I talk about it all the time. It's the mayonnaise of choice in this house. Um, here's the deal with mayo. And I won't go into it now, and I can go into it in more detail uh, another time because we've done it. But mayonnaise is basically fat. So if you're going to use something that really is just fat, you might as well use fat that has a lot of flavor to it. And ja that's what this QP Japanese mayonnaise is. You can see by the color, right, it's got more yellow in it, which means it has more yolk in it. And it's a little bit tangier. It's just way, way. Anybody that I have taste tested Japanese mayo and regular mayo to, they've like, no comparison. That's my new mayonnaise of choice. You have to go to an Asian market for it. That's the only problem. Oh, Amazon.com. Oh, you can get it from yeah, Amazon. Yeah, just go to Amazon, people, and search K E W P I E. That's exactly right. That's a good point. I do feel like it's a little more expensive there, but it if you live somewhere be. where you don't have an Asian market, a Japanese market, even some of the Chinese markets are going to have it. Yeah, that's the convenience of Amazon. You right. pay a little more. But it comes right to your door. I so, love Amazon. So this is just green onion, right? You can see Amazon this. is the best. Just green onion that I'm just going to chop up to go into, into this. Nice. And everybody knows that green onion is our garnish of choice. It's my garnish of choice for almost everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, how's your finger, by the way, honey? Did it heal properly? It did, but it's definitely. Like, can you bend it properly? Oh yeah, I can. I can do it all that way. But if you can see, you look down here. It's see, this is the one. Tissue. There's a scar. Oh yeah. yeah, you can see. See, you, you know what? See? You need to massage that. Massage well, it with what? I think, it, I think it's too late. Massage it with what? Well, I think while it was scarring is when you were supposed to. Oh, be I see. It. Okay, now so that's the green onion's going in here, right? I got a good amount of green onion. Good. That's there. Hold on. Hold on. I just can't have this messy place here. It's too much. It's too much for my head. It really is. And honestly, I think this is where I suppose some amount of OCD that I could have that comes out that it's in my mind I can't continue until I've cleaned my mess it just there's something that I don't know if it prevents me but I, I can't I just is like a moment that is just absolutely not going to work for me okay lemon uh, do, we, do we have the oven on yeah oven's on I could turn it on to uh, broil cancel I've got it heating though uh, max broil. There, there, okay. Okay, so I need some uh, lemon juice, but juice of about half a lemon. No seeds. Filter the seeds with your hand. I hope none went in. I don't think they did. There's that. Cholula goes in here, um, I don't know, not too much. This, 
I'm going to throw a little salt in. A little salt always, always helps enhance the natural flavors of whatever it is Can you you're making. Can you that towel behind it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. And now just mix. And we're coming to the little cheap sauce part. So look it. I don't care who the chef is whose recipes you're following. I don't care how famous they are. It's Bobby Flay or Rachel Ray or whoever you love. You have to taste as you go. That's very important. Just to make sure that it's where you want it. There may be two. Oh. Oh yeah, that's where I want it. There could be too little sauce or too much. You can't tell unless you taste. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to wait until you serve something to find out that's the moment it's no bueno. Right? That's, that's brutal. That's brutal. Okay, Kaiser roll. Oh, I love it. That's like the angels singing to me. Well, you love this? Oh my God, a Kaiser roll? Okay, so watch. I'm just going to cut this. Oh, you can use anything. I mean, I like a Kaiser for this. It's great, right? Oh, that is so good. Watch this. I'm just going to... This is anal, and I don't need to do this. Why are you doing it? So it sits flat. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I didn't really have to do that, but I wanted to. Okay. So remember, open face, right? Oh, the crab. You want this? I get that whole thing. You want? Oh, stamp, stamp, no erase. Okay, fine, 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 fine. But I got to You'll take eat it. the crab? Yeah. But I got to take a picture of it after, baby. Okay. It's gonna we be just need one of them. Red, and it's going to be under the oven. Okay. See how nice that is? Don't be don't be scrimpy with the crab. Could I make it go a little bit further? Yes, of course you could. They could put less on and make four out of them, but that's not the way I want to do this. Okay, so now here's the cheese part. Wouldn't you rather have two good sandwiches than four bad ones? It's the way I am with cocktails. One good cocktail is better than two weak bad ones. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's what I'm using. I'm using pepper jack. Nice. Once again, a little bit more flavor in here. Just one on top is going to be exactly what I want. And here we go. A little bite. The oven's on to broil, which means this top-down heat is there. I'm going to put it right there. And just let it do its thing. And that's going to take, uh, I don't know, maybe two minutes to melt to the place where I want it. While we're waiting for that, Fixtures Living has been a sponsor of the show for a long time. They've got some badass commercials. Here's one of them right now. What inspires a man to perform such tender acts of love and devotion? That'll do it. All right, so it's ready. I love Fixtures Living. Check them out on the uh, internet, fixtureslivingcom and on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy, they're there for you. Their stuff's amazing. I was going to say their shit's amazing, but I don't know if they like me saying that, but it is. So here's what we've got. Check these guys out. Oh my G. Look oh, at that. snap. Look at that color. Tell me that those aren't freaking beautiful, man. Sandwich week is ending in a very big way here, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, Kel, do you want a top or a bottom? I'll give you the top. <laughs> That's, I didn't ask you if you wanted to be the top or bottom. I just said you okay, want yes, to the top sir. or bottom. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Sorry. Creepy. I don't know. <laughs> All right. One bite. One bite. That's what we need. There's we need no to... longer any non-family members to deflect <laughs> off of. <laughs> right. And look. And now just this. Just a little bit more green onion over the top. Oh my God, how beautiful is that crazy, stupid ass thing? Wow, that so looks So here's what perfect. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a little bite right from here. Oh, crispy, crunchy, the way it should be. I'm getting 
super, all these amazing, oh, smell crab, fully crab. You know, when you heat something, the, the aroma really just comes out. Mm. Crab, first thing I taste. And the problem with a lot of these is the first thing you taste is like overwhelming cheese or some sauce or whatever. Mm. This is all about crab and really good crab. Mm. All right, you have to make this. Holy shit, it's that good. Kelly's gonna eat this right now. Uh, next week is Super Bowl week. Super Bowl food. Food you should be making for the, the Super Bowl on the whatever the day, that third. All right? Hang with us. We'll tell you what to make. We'll tell you what to eat. We're going to have a great time. Thanks for being here. Tell your friends. We love you for hanging with us. Have a good weekend. I need one more bite of this before I hand it off. Here.